We're at the end of April. Just yesterday, it's April 17th right now, folks. Just yesterday, uh, it was announced that uh, they have exhausted all the small business loans, right? $350 billion. Poof. That's gone. Two weeks, it's gone. Currently, right now, we got Donald Trump uh, arguing with, uh, you know, Nancy Pelosi, right? Republicans and Democrats, they, uh, as I talked today, Friday, April 17th, they have not come to an agreement on fulfilling the next round of funding. I know they're trying to get $250 billion put back into that. Um, but uh, that is, you know, it remains to be seen if there's going to be any more money or resources. So we've talked about where the tenants can go and where they can get some resources to help them pay rent and the stimulus checks. But what about all those business owners out there, CJ, that are watching this? Maybe they didn't get their funding because the majority of Americans did not get their funding. Uh, what, what are some resources that those folks can do if their business is struggling? Because, hey, this isn't just one-sided, guys, all right? If you're a tenant and you can't pay rent, that's because uh, the person who owns the business that you're working at isn't able to operate. Well, a lot of our investors and a lot of the folks on the other side of that coin, they also are trying to, to support their families and they're having a hard time earning their income. So what are some resources available to them? Right, yeah, and, and yesterday, you know, I was looking at that and the SBA processed more applications in the past 14 days than they have in the past 14 years. So we, that money was gone quickly. Um, that left a lot of individuals that maybe didn't have a huge CPA firm to go in quickly or a huge bank to get their funds taken care of, um, left them with nothing. But there are other resources. The resources that we hear a lot about, the PPP, the payroll protection, the um, EIDL, those are new. Those are things that are related to a disaster. The SBA has other loans and other programs that are not related to a disaster that a small business can um, tap into and get funding, get a loan. It may not be a forgiveness, but it's gonna be some cushion to help you get through these times. Um, there's also some local resources. Every single state, every single city has an economic development council, a program, and they have funds available as well. Um, every state has their own. So everyone's looking at the big money. Everyone's looking at the government and there's a lot of small money or mid-sized money that's kind of being left on the table because we're not tapping into that. So I would suggest anyone who wasn't able to get in and tap into the EIDL or the PPP to definitely pick up the phone today and call your local resources, call your economic development group with your local city or state and say, I need help. Tell me where I can go. They have all of the resources available. They have grant money that they've received from the government to help their own individual communities. Hey.